Hello and welcome. Welcome. It's December 18th and I've got a special Advent devotion for you today coming from the book of Psalms. We'll be reading from Psalms 24. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. The world and all its people belong to him. For he laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. Who may climb the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Only the, those whose hands and hearts are pure, who do not worship idols and never tell lies. They will receive the Lord's blessing and have a right relationship with God, their Savior. Such people may seek you and worship in your presence, O God of Jacob. Open up, ancient gates, open up, ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, invincible in battle. Open up, ancient gates, open up, ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of heaven's armies is the King of glory. Well, that's a beautiful psalm for us to reflect on with our Advent eyes. And I call this reflection the King of Glory. We've reflected through these Advent devotions about God's promise to King David. God gifted David to be a mighty warrior and king. But the king of glory David speaks of in this psalm is not an earthly king at all. David can envision the Lord as king over all things. The study notes in my Bible suggest this psalm may have been a song sung in call and response style. Picture the worship leader asking the question, who is the king of glory? And the people singing out, the Lord, strong and mighty. Indeed. The King of Glory is the Messiah himself. It does us good to get into a worship mindset as Chris Christmas is now just a week away. Have you been listening to Christmas carols to get yourself in the mood? It's one of my favorite things about this time of year. Do you have a favorite Christmas song? Mine is Oh Holy Night. It was my mom's favorite, too, and I cherish the handwritten note she put in my piano music when I was a young girl to learn that one. Mom has been singing with the Angel Choir for almost 28 years now. I imagine this King of Glory lighting up heaven with his glow. The glory of the Lord is often understood as God's majesty, his holiness, his splendor. I picture a brilliant light with warmth radiating from the heart of God. How else do you to calm your spirit so that you can focus on God's majesty in worship? I love the opening words from the praise song, The Heart of Worship, that say, when the music fades, all is stripped away, and I simply come longing just to bring something that's of worth that will bless your heart. That's how I want to approach the throne of God. It's all about Jesus. All things point to Jesus. With a week yet to prepare for the celebration of Jesus' first coming, we can't let our guard down. So many distractions abound in the decorations, cookies, parties, concerts, gifts, food, travel. We want to keep our hands and hearts pure. As this psalm says, the Lord's blessing came to us first in a humble way, but he will come again with might invincible in battle. Are we ready? Let's pray together. Repeat after me. Lord, you are strong and mighty. You are ready to fight every battle on my behalf.
Thank you for how you are working in my life. I want to be ready when those ancient doors open. We look forward to you coming as the King of Glory, your splendor shining all around. Help me to focus on you, Lord, only you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. I will let you go. You have a great day. Keep that Advent heart burning bright for our coming King. In Jesus' name, have a great day.